hope everyone's having a fantastic afternoon and I welcome you guys back to another vlog. I'm out doing my flyers. It is still a little bit hot, but it's not as hot as yesterday. Yesterday was just so brutal. N now today, there's a bit of a wind, which also helps. So let's get these flyers done and let's go home because I filmed two new reviews today. I hope you guys all stay tuned. This morning I went to Tim Hortons and today was the actual official launch day of the new uh, vanilla cream puff dream donut and the strawberry shortcake dream donut. I'm gonna have to show you guys another day um, the donuts because I couldn't film it today because uh, I was too busy filming it a review. So I couldn't show it to you guys on the vlog but you guys will have to stay tuned for the review. So released two new summer drinks. They also released the quenchers. One of them is the strawberry and watermelon quencher and then the peach quencher. I didn't film the review today, but that will be my next review. Uh, if you guys like to see it on the vlog, let me know in the comment section below because I'll definitely bring this to you guys in the vlogs if you guys like to see some sort of review on the vlog channel. Let me know. Tried the two quenchers. Which one is your favorite? The watermelon strawberry or peach? Let me know. Pretty hot today. I mean, in the sun, if you're directly in the sun, it's hot, but it's not as hot in the shade. It has that nice little breeze that they didn't have yesterday. Yesterday was just so brutal. It was just so hot. Upstairs in our house, uh, as you're walking upstairs, you felt the heat and when you met it, you went in the room it was like nice and cool and refreshing because of the AC. 7.10 right now. I didn't vlog much today. I was actually quite surprised. I thought I would have vlogged a lot but I did vlog a little bit and I was vlogging on the way to um, I do my newspapers, my flyers and it is 7.10. We got done eating supper about, about 45 minutes ago and I went back to Tim Horns and I got myself a quencher. Uh, this afternoon, you guys all know, I went to get coffee because I needed caffeine. But tonight, or this evening, I thought, let's go to Tim Horns so I can try one of their quenchers. Because I did have a sip of my girlfriend's. Uh, she had the peach, which wasn't that bad, actually. It tasted almost like a peach juice, but it had a little bit of sourness to it. But it was still pretty good. But I got mine, the watermelon and strawberry quencher, and wow, I am blown away. This is the medium. There's a small, I think a small is 229, a medium is 249, and I'm not sure how much a large, I would think about 40 cents more or 20 cents more. So it'd be about $3, which isn't that bad because if you were to go to Starbucks, their refreshers are like at least five, six dollars per uh, refresher. So for a quencher being like this for 249, can beat that and a quencher is almost similar to a refresher but I liked it it's really good um, let me know if you guys want me to do a review on my review channel I will be doing a TikTok. so if you guys want to go and follow me on TikTok, do so all links will be in the description if I could describe it right now in the vlog it's really good it has a nice a little sourness to it but a nice flavor of strawberry to balance the watermelon sweet it's a sweet sour drink like I said, it's like a refresher from Starbucks. So refreshing. Something that you want to drink through these hot temperatures. Quenchers is definitely the right way to go. No, Tim Horns won't be watching this, but if you guys are at Tim Horns, you guys came out with a great drink for the summertime. Just hope, and I'm not sure if they still have them, but I'm hoping they do, but I hope they have their slushy still. Because that blue raspberry slushy was amazing. And if you guys haven't checked out my review on that, it was 2019 or 2018. You have to go back to my CB12 review channel, check it out. I had done the cherry and then the blue raspberry. The blue raspberry blew it away. Cherry was good, but not as good as the blue raspberry. But the quenchers is something different. You're really kind of giving it some thought. It kind of tastes like. A watermelon Jolly Rancher if that makes any sense if anyone has tried the strawberry watermelon quencher from Tim Hortons let me know if you guys agree does this taste like a strawberry watermelon Jolly Rancher let me know it's about 9 p.m. now and it's still kind of light outside which is good it's a nice sunset over there 
and uh, I thought I would just come out here and just kind of relax. It's been a crazy day today, as you guys can tell. I caught a sunburn in my face. It's probably on my way to do my flyers. Probably caught all this sunburn, but uh, I also shaved this evening, as you guys can probably tell. So uh, I did that this evening. I edited a review. I kind of cleaned up downstairs before we headed upstairs because it's going to be f almost bedtime because it's going to be another long day tomorrow. Tomorrow is the actual day of reopening of the economy in phase one. We're going to be in phase one tomorrow, which I'm somewhat glad because we're kind of moving into the right direction. And I think we've seen about 400 and I think it's like below 500 cases in Ontario. And that's pretty good because I think like a month and a half ago, we were like at 3,000 cases a day. So going down almost below 500. At first, we were below 1,000, now below 500. So I'm hoping for the best because I don't want to go into phase one and then have to go backwards again. And then we're going to be in another lockdown. These lockdowns for at least 15 months. We've been on and off in these lockdowns for like the last 15 months. I'm hoping at least with phase one tomorrow, I'm hoping that uh, we're gonna continue with this good and uh, we'll be going in phase two in July, I'm hoping. I think that's what they're saying. Phase two will be in July. Of course, people are revving their car as I'm vlogging. But I think they were talking about phase two in July. And I think they said by the end of August, we should be in phase three which pretty much is like normal. So phase three is almost like pretty much back to normal. So I'm also hoping for the kids and all the people who are going to school in September, I'm hoping for a full year of in-person learning and at least going back to somewhat normal. Oh, I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog here, but I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. As always, if you guys did, and you guys wanna show your support for me doing these vlogs for you guys, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as always, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. You never miss a vlog. All my links to all my social media in the description. In the description, follow me, especially on TikTok. So until next time, peace out.